Okay, so I don't have my mic today. I don't know where it is, but I guess we're just gonna go ahead and make this video. Um, so the pistons came in. Um, let me go ahead and unbox them for you guys. So um, these are five thousandths over. They're not really that much bigger of a bore, but here, here they are. So you can see they have those um, lateral gas ports as well. Um, for the thinner piston rings I'm going to be running and they are coated. So I'm pretty excited. Um, the, I kind of, there's a possibility that I might be decking my block. Now what that means is um, it means that you're taking, because it's a floating deck. Uh, I don't have, it's a floating deck and you're filling in the top deck with a, a metal plate so that it holds all the cylinders together. Because the problem with these engines is that at higher horsepower levels, those cylinders actually move since there's not they're not connected to the block and they move and you'll actually end up blowing a head gasket so we're looking at that um we have a practice block over there at a at a cnc shop and they're making the deck and everything and they're they're gonna press in on a practice block and see how it goes so i'm excited if that works that'd be pretty cool it'd be pretty neat i don't know if there's any like any cyclones that have done it yet i know that a couple of eco boosts have done it liver noise does it Mazda Head Shop does it, so it'd be pretty neat. Um, other than that, I'm sorry guys, I haven't been able to make the videos as much as I thought because um, I ended up getting a summer class and it's every day and it takes up a lot of time because it's a mini master. But I'll go ahead and show you guys, I did get aerospace brakes. So I, I am, I've done one side, I haven't done the other side because I think I'm gonna do an install video on it because it actually is a little more intense than you would think. So um, let me just come around over here. Here they are. But you actually have to cut and um, drill and tap. It's it's not fun. I would, you know, you'd think that if you were designing a brake, it'd be fairly easy to design a bracket that would just bolt into the OEM spindle. But nope, you have to cut up the spindle and everything. So here's this ear that, let me see if I can turn on a light for you guys so you guys can see. See that right there? that's where this little ear was on the spindle and you have to cut it off from right right there and then this hole you actually have to drill and tap for this bracket and i don't know if you've never done it before um you wouldn't know maybe you've heard from people but tapping stuff sucks it's the worst so let me i'm sorry but tapping stuff is Tapping stuff is not fun, <laughs> especially when you're using like Harbor Freight taps because I don't have a nice tap and die set. I just, I use my friends and it's pretty cheap, but it worked, it did the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on that. The problem is I don't really know how much time I'm gonna have to do it. This weekend I'm going to Austin, so I'm not entirely sure when that'll be. Um, I'm pretty busy, unfortunately, but I will make updates as like the block comes in and everything, quick updates, and then, um, Hopefully if the car is like, if the engine's done soon, it can go on the car and then I can make a video. And then I think that's when this is gonna be really fun. As far as the lightning goes, the update is, I did order the rods and pistons for it. Um, I don't know, two of them are shipped out already. And then one shipping directly from, like the rods and piston rings are shipping out directly from Summit. And then um, the pistons are coming directly from Manly. So I don't know how long the pistons are gonna take, but that's pretty cool. That should be actually done maybe even quicker than the Mustang, just because everything's like off the shelf parts and, and everyone knows how to work on them. Five fours, it's the same as a truck engine. It's, I mean, it is a truck engine, but th that five four is the same as a truck engine. And it's also really similar to the GT500. The short block is, it's, I think it's actually identical. The bare block is probably identical. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they're really similar so that should be pretty cool and i guess that's it i don't i don't really have anything else to update you guys on i really wish i could have done i do have the installing s550 breaks it video um i need to edit it unfortunately when it came to actually installing the brakes i didn't really film that much because i'm kind of i'm pretty camera shy <laughs> and and around like new people that i don't know i definitely wasn't as much of myself I did videotape like little snippets and stuff, but um, just didn't get to do as much footage as I wish. But hopefully I'll have some time to edit that. Um, if not, this, this summer class I only have 
um, two weeks and a half left of it and then after that I should have more time to make videos so I'm sorry about that if some of you guys were, were interested in in watching me <laughs> which is which is cool um, that's it I I mean if you guys have any questions about anything I think these pistons from Wiseco are actually gonna be available to the public so but they're not gonna be on the catalog I'm not sure um, so you would probably have to call them if you need like a phone number about it or anything like that I mean you can just comment down below and I'll reply if you have a V6 and you're looking to get these. But these are 5,000th over. I think they're the only ones on the market that are 5,000th over. Maybe the diamond pistons, you can get them in custom uh, bore sizes. I'm not sure. And uh, But that should be pretty cool. They will be made to order though. It's not going to be like an off the shelf part. However, you won't have to pay the, all, like the design fees that I did. So. Anyways, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Hopefully this thing will be done in about a month. I'm really hoping. I feel like it's always pushed back a month, but um, for different reasons. And I think it is good to just wait out another month and see if we can do that deck. Because if we can, it's going to be much stronger. Um, as well as it does support the sleeves so it keeps them from cracking because they're not moving around as much as well. Um, so that's it. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. I'm out.